collectible toy and comic show, Lorraine. Big show, Mike. Big you show. know what? What? This is the only store in Alberta that carries a dedicated section to local artists that create comic books. So when we talk about a collectible show, Jay, how does this relate? A lot of these artists, well, could eventually be the superstars of tomorrow in the comic book industry. So this is uh, kind of the place where you could get your uh, the, the first crack, their, their very first piece of artwork, which could be increased in value down the road. And it's happened before. It has happened before. Todd McFarlane, the creator of Spawn, uh, other artists, uh, John Byrne is also an Albertan who is very, very big name in the comic book industry. So, and their very early artwork and, uh, and, and stories are worth a lot of money. So who are the up and coming superstars? We'll find out together in just a few minutes when we visit Artist Alley. It's 824. It's time to catch up again with Lorraine. She's at Happy Harbor Comics. She is. And introducing us to some of the local talent that will be at this year's collectible toy and comic show. Local talent is the key, Andrea. And Do you know the name Todd McFarlane? Yes. Of course, yeah. Huge. Creator of Spawn. A classic, oh, yes, a classic tale yeah. of someone who started locally and made it really big in the world of comics, Jay. That's right. He had a lot of success working for Marvel Comics on Spider-Man, and then he went off, created his own character, Spawn, and uh, for many years was one of the top-selling books in the industry, and now his earlier and original artwork is worth quite a bit of money, well sought after. Recognizing that, you have this area in your store set aside, and it's for local people to come down to do drawings, such as we're seeing this morning. And the idea is what? Uh, basically, we host the space for the, the, the comic community to come together, so the artists can meet each other, inspire each other, work with each other, develop contacts, and uh, you know help them move forward and progress with their art, keep their dream alive. You're going to do that at the show, too. Absolutely, yes. We work in conjunction with them to have an artist alley at the, uh, the Edmonton uh, Collectible Toy and Comic Show, and uh, you'll see a lot of stuff. Um, people selling their uh, original artwork and doing sketches on demand, selling their original comics and uh, all sorts of really cool stuff. Which may be worth a whole lot of money, just like Todd McFarlane at some point in the future. Melanie, you actually are starting to make your living in the world of comics. How yeah. so? Um, I'm basically flatting for other artists, comic artists that are coloring for either DC, Marvel or anything. What does flatting mean? Um, flatting is meaning like putting base colors down for Oh, um, cool. Either landscapes, people, or anything that the person created. These are examples of Melanie's work. Now, feast your eyes on the work of Dan, who lives in a farm uh, not far from Madrasan. But what you would like to do is make your full time living in the world of comics. Is that right? Yep. So, how do you do that? Uh, basically, you just, uh, you kind of just throw yourself at it. Uh, there's no real uh, direct path. You don't mm -hmm. go into a company and apply for a job like a regular job. You just kind of come at it through uh, networking. You go to shows and talk with artists and writers and editors and just let yourself be known. Throw your art out there. Let them see what you can do. And then Are you getting closer? Oh yeah, really close. Uh, I'm thinking this year I'm going to make a lot of progress. Look at this work. This is just amazing. I looked at this and it just took my breath away. This one, hours to draw hours to color. And as you can see from the work that uh, you could see that, you could expect to see that in a comic book sometime. Yep. Best of luck to you. Thank you. Okay, when we come back, old comics. It is a collectible show. You want to see some? Yes, hey, I do. Worth some major dollars. Okay. okay. Yeah. We'll have them for you in just a few minutes. Awesome. Wow, a lot of talent right there. Oh, That's no. for sure. 842, and we have one more stop to make over it. Happy Harbor Comics. Yes, Lorraine has been there this morning getting all prepped uh, for the big show and checking out some of the artwork too. And many of these comics, they've been around a long, long time, Lorraine. Oh, Shay and Andrea, so much to know, so little time. Are yeah. you ready? <laughs> Lesson 101. This comic is worth about $40. This comic, identical, is worth about $800. Stefan is a collector. He's got about 12,000 comics to his name, all collectible. I don't get it. What's the difference, Stefan? Uh, the difference was that when uh, these books came out, the, they, started, they moved over to bag distribution, which, was, which uh, means that they weren't available in convenience stores anymore. They only sold them in drug stores and department stores. And because they sold them that way, they, were, they had a hard time getting them out there at first. So this was the first issue, which came out okay, but the second issue didn't come out very, like they had a real distribution problem with it. Mm -hmm. And they estimate now only about 100 copies exist of this oh. book. That's why 800 that's and that's right. why $40. Can you imagine? Take a look down. When you're collecting comics, look in the corner. One will be the original, 
One will be with the W that stands for Whitman. For Whitman, that's right. What happens is that the DC Comics uh, allowed Whitman to reprint their books to be sold in bags as well. And uh, what happens now is that the Whitman versions are actually more collectible than the DC versions because they estimate about for every 10 copies of DC that they printed, only one Whitman exists. The knockoff in this instance is worth more than the original. Can you imagine? Take a look down again, identical comics, but look at the difference in prices. 40 cents, 50 cents. For a collector, what does that mean? Uh, what happens, uh, once again, Whitman had distribution problems and they had printing problems. And what happens is that the 40 cent version is actually an error, mm -hmm. which means that it is about 20 times as rare as the regular copy. So once again, uh, the error copy is worth a lot more than the regular version oh. that comes out. Canadian versus American. What's the difference? Just like toys, uh, about 1982, they switched. Over. The Canadian dollar was worth less than the American dollar, so the cover price switched from 60 cents in the U.S. to 75 cents Canadian. Uh, most books would reflect both prices on it, but the Canadian newsstand versions only have the 75, which means that it becomes a much rarer valuable collectible. Holy! And then quickly, the Obama. Obama. Well, Obama is really hot right now. Uh, they first came out with the Action Is His Reward cover. And the, then they made the Obama cover once he won the election because they knew that it was, would generate sales. Uh, but what happens with this book is that not a lot of retailers were able to order it in time. So they short printed them and they had to go back to multiple copies oh. because the demand was so high. These two are collectible. But what you can gather from what Stefan has said this morning is it's a quagmire. It's a world out there unto itself. So if you want to learn more, there's going to be panels. You can glean information. And don't just be selling your stuff off thinking that you know a lot. Make sure you do your research before you sell or buy so that you get a fair amount for what it is that you have on your hands. It may be a real treasure. You don't know. What fun. It, oh, it would be a hunt, wouldn't it, Andrea and Shay? Mm -hmm. Good advice. Yeah, yeah. Next weekend, you might want to take this show in. Have a good weekend this weekend. Enjoy the weather. We'll see you on Monday. Okay. All right, you too. Thanks, Lorraine. It's fun to collect something. It is, yeah, no doubt. The Edmonton Collectible Toy and Comic Show goes at the Conference Centre, as Lorraine said, next weekend, Sunday, March 29th. Doors open 10 to 6. Visit their website through the link on our website, globaltvedmonton.com.